Hello everyone and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and today we are back in the Keller kitchen. So today we are going to be making something from the 101 Asian dishes you need to cook before you die. Okay, uh, today's recipe is kimchi fried rice. Um, I really haven't had kimchi, I think I've had it once, but I don't really remember and I, you know, eating it by itself is just not, not for me, but hopefully it'll taste good. Ooh in this recipe. Okay, so the first thing that you are going to need to do is if you have a wok, use a wok. If not, um, you could just use a skillet as well. Okay, so, and I am going to be making a double batch of this, so I will be adding more ingredients than what I say. It does make four servings for the actual recipe, so I'm going to be doubling all of that. So if you guys, you know, I will say what the recipe says, but be putting more in than that. Okay. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is put two tablespoons of canola oil and one tablespoon of sesame oil into your wok or skillet and heat it up until you're starting to get white smoke, which I'm getting right now, okay? Then what you're, once the white smoke appears, you're going to add um, two eggs to the pan here. Um, technically, they're supposed to be lightly beaten so they don't do that. And kind of, woo, that is hot, baby. Scramble these up as we go along because I forgot to beat them, but that's okay. You're only going to cook these for about one to two minutes just until they're starting to set. And then we're going to add some more stuff to them. So, this one and this one. Okay. So go ahead and kind of get those scrambled up a little. Like I said, supposed to beat those beforehand. I forgot to do it, so I just kind of did it in the pan here. It works. Okay, so once they're just set, what you're going to do is go ahead and you're going to put in, um, what is it? Three garlic cloves chopped up, roughly chopped up and a half of an onion chopped up, okay? And you're gonna cook all of that together until the onions become translucent. It says it should only take about a minute, okay? And it looks like already they're kind of starting to turn. Give you guys a quick look here. As you can see, they're kind of starting to get that little pearlescent kind of look to them, which means they're starting to turn there, turned a little translucent, which is good. Okay. Oh, stuff sticking to my fingers. There we go. Okay. So once they've started to turn a little translucent, you're gonna go ahead and add four cups of day-old rice, okay? Oh, this is not wanting to move out of here. Okay, so one. Oh, two. Three. And there's four. Now, I did make this rice this morning and then let it sit in the fridge. Um, I was gonna make it last night and got tired and went to sleep, so. Six, seven, and eight. Now, you guys are only gonna add four cups if you're just making the four servings. Like I said, I am doubling mine up. Okay, you're also gonna add one cup of chopped kimchi. It's supposed to be roughly chopped, so not chopped too much. And kimchi is basically just like a like a cabbage um, thing in a sauce. So it's not that big of a deal, okay? Make sure you unclump your rice because it is gonna be clumped together from since it's a day old rice. And it's, oh, it's also a short grain rice, not a long grain rice. So you're supposed to use a day old short grain rice. Okay. And 
basically to get the rice to kind of unmat itself, I guess. You can just do like circles, kind of pushing it down and that'll get it so it loosens up, okay? Don't. You're gonna cook this for about one to two minutes. And uh, you know, don't be afraid to get the rice unstuck from the bottom if there's some sticking to the bottom and all of that. Okay. Like a little rice patty there, need to get undone. Okay, there we go. It's looking pretty good, you guys. Looking pretty good. So, like I said, the kimchi kind of has like its own little sauce, which is why the uh, rice is kind of taken on like a pinkish color. Okay. All right, so I think that should just about do it there. Okay. Okay, you wanna make sure that the rice has absorbed everything. And then you're also gonna add some soy sauce, which you need, um, let's see, three tablespoons of soy sauce. Oh, this will open. Oops, that one's out. Open this one. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so this, oops, the three tablespoons from the, for the four servings. And there's mine. And then also to this, you're gonna add, how much sugar? Uh, a half a teaspoon, is that, no, not a half a teaspoon. A one tablespoon of sugar, and then also a half a teaspoon of salt. So one tablespoon of sugar. And then some salt here. A table half a teaspoon of salt okay so now you're gonna mix that all together again and just make sure that the rice absorbs all of the juices okay. very colorful I like it days where you grab something out and then you put it back for some reason even though you still need it so I'll give you guys kind of a look here so this is what this looks like so far so your last steps for this after you get all of your juices absorbed you're gonna go ahead and add in three green onions sliced on the bias okay so we're gonna put those in And then also a one teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon of white pepper. Okay. Okay. And then you're just gonna fold that all together. Looking really good. Okay. 
you guys see that? Look at how good that looks. All right, give it a few more stirs here. A few more fold ins, I guess I should say. Get anything sticking on the sides or the bottom off. Looks good. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off and let's get a bowl. All right, you guys, so let's see what this looks like. All right, so here is the kimchi fried rice. Doesn't that look really good? Mmm, looks delicious, y'all. I don't know about you. I'm ready to try some. All right, so now we just need to grab a spoon. Let's give this a try, shall we? Make sure we get a little bit of everything in there. Here we go. It's very hot. Mmm. Okay. It's got a little bit, just a little bit of a kick to it. It's really good, you guys. I really like it. Mmm. That's delicious. Got a little bit of crunch from the green onion. Everything else is kind of blended in real well. Got a little bit of spice, but not too much. Tastes really good. Okay, you guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Like and subscribe if you like, or don't if you don't. Everybody have a good day. Enjoy your cooking. Keep your kitchen messy, and we'll see you later.